so day one I had a headache I had sensitivity to light I also had pressure here day two as well and then day threes continued pressure right here um, but then that's when the body aches started happening day four I was coughing so hard that I actually threw up day five that's when I got my results back <sighs> they were positive <laughs> So I'm not a doctor, but I do work alongside doctors and I do give doctor's recommendation to patients who call requesting doctor's recommendations whenever they have COVID symptoms like a fever or a cough. So no, I'm not a doctor, but this is generally what I would recommend that you do with your different symptoms. As soon as you think you possibly have the symptoms, I would recommend start treating yourself right away. Um, so I already get a lot of breathing and respiratory issues because of my like frequent like allergy symptoms So I already had I don't know if you can see it, but a humidifier see it right there. I Would definitely recommend investing in that keep your house warm because one thing that I noticed is that cold air was irritating my throat and making me cough so much harder as you can tell, I'm able to talk in full and complete sentences. That's only because it's pretty warm in here. I'm, I'm even wearing a sweater. With cold and dry air, it, it irritated my throat so much more. I cough and cough and cough and cough to where I can't, I can't speak at all. So yeah, I definitely recommend a humidifier. Um, if you can, get some cough syrup. I've been taking this. Yeah, it tastes horrible, but if you want to feel good and you're coughing like crazy, you'll do anything to not feel that horrible and take this, okay? Definitely cough drops right away. Cepical lozenges. Um, these are really potent, really high strength cough drops. Um, if you also have like a sore throat, it has like a numbing serum to them as well. So they're really, really, really strong <laughs> if you have a really bad cough and a sore throat. Highly recommend. Um, vapor rub. That's like the only thing that's helping me sleep at night so that I don't cough and cough and cough and cough like crazy. Chewable vitamins are really good. Apple cider vinegar. I mean, it just generally helps your immune system, so why not? Definitely get Mucinex D. I'll go grab it. Like I said, I've had a lot of congestion, so I've been taking these. It's Maximum Strength Mucinex Sinus Max. It's for pressure, pain, and cough. It'll really help you like get a lot of drainage so that you can just cough it up instead of feeling all stuffy right here. Flonies. Flonies is a new prescription that I recently started using. I don't, I don't think it's only prescription. I think you can get it over the counter. It, you just use it once a day and um, first you clear it like that and then um, you stick it up each um, into each nose and then you spray it read the directions before you use it definitely but you only have to use it once a day and it also helps to create that like flow so that all the all your sinuses can get cleared out and it can start like flowing down so you don't feel all congested. Even if you don't have COVID, you can always use it for a cough, the flu, for allergies. If you have a fever, I would recommend alternating between Aleve and Tylenol. They help you reduce your fever and obviously a thermometer. Um, this entire time I have not had a fever, but I'm glad I was able to check to make sure. 98.0 and it was good to know that i highly recommend that if you develop a fever you should go to urgent care especially if you can't get it under control with a leaf or tylenol another item that i would recommend is an ox pulse our doctors frequently recommend that if it's 94 and under that you should go to the hospital because 94 and under it means your oxygen's too low 94 and above it can only get up to 100%, but between 94 and 100% is really where you want to be. But yeah, I'm not telling you to get all of these. I'm just recommending them, okay? Just recommending. 
so I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. All I have is a medical assistance certificate. That doesn't mean I'm qualified to recommendations for your health at all. This is just what I generally recommend, just to keep around the house. I'm not even joking here. I've been quarantined for like six days and this has probably been the most fun <laughs> that I've had since I've been stuck in my room. It's, it's really been nice to like just be able to vent and talk and to try to help you guys with your symptoms too. So if you think you have COVID if, and you think you have a sinus infection like I did, any symptoms that you have, take them seriously. Really monitor how you're feeling. Monitor if this is normal for you or if it is a little bit more extreme than normal. Take it seriously because it could be COVID. And if you do have COVID, don't freak out yet. Just take it symptom by symptom. I hope you have a good day. I hope that if you do have COVID, you feel well soon. I'm hoping I feel well soon. I'll keep you posted. Bye. By the way, like I said before, I'm not a doctor. This is just what I've been using. This is just what I recommend. It's really good to keep on hand all these medications just throughout the year.